Hey guys, I'm Barry. Probably know me best for dissecting game set style questions for section three. Today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and go through a verbal reasoning question backwards. So I'm going to essentially uh, start from the end and work backwards to the question. You'll see what I mean. We've got three statements here. Two are what we call premises, which are statements that can be either true or false. And we've got a statement which we'll call the conclusion, which if the first two statements are correct, it should logically follow that the last statement is correct. So we have legumes have roots that bear nodules and lentils are a type of legume. So that would logically mean that lentils have roots that bear nodules. I'm going to now start adding more complexity to this and it's it's going to resemble an actual logical reasoning question eventually. Okay, so let's keep adding uh, layers. Now, before we do that, I'm going to highlight these statements so we can kind of keep track of what's going on. This is demonstrating the fact that we've brought these two premises together to then form the conclusion. All right, we can make this a little bit more difficult by not saying that these are premises. Or premises. And we're going to keep the conclusion separate, okay? All right, so that's a little bit trickier. We've got our conclusion. Lentils have roots that bear nodules. Maybe we can make this more like a question. Perhaps we can then add, is this consistent with the information provided? Okay, so now we've made this a question and we have to give an answer or we'll say, well, is it correct? And what we probably do is we go through the premises and say, okay, legumes have roots that bear nodules, lentils are a type of legume, and we can say, well, that does look like it supports the argument or the conclusion that lentils have roots and bear nodules, and we would say, yes, it's consistent, it's true. Let's see if we can make this a little bit trickier. Let's say lentils do not have roots that bear nodules. Is this consistent with the information provided? We already know what the answer was before, and now that we've added the, the do not, so lentils do not have roots that bear nodules, the answer has changed. We now say, no, this is not consistent, because if we followed the first two statements, if we followed logical reasoning, the conclusion should be that lentils have roots that bear nodules. So. I hope you can see that this is adding some layer of complexity to this. Now, let's just change the way that it sounds a bit more, okay? So question one, from this information, uh, or from the, uh, so when it's talking about this information, pre presumably it's the information provided above, is the following statement true? Uh, and again, we haven't really changed much, we've just made the question look a bit more formal. Okay, so let's take it one step further. I know it doesn't seem like much, but let's just put the sentence together like this. I'm gonna add a bit more complexity now to make it a bit trickier. Uh, let's do this. Let's uh, add a bit more information. So lentils are a type of legume. And you'll notice what I'm essentially doing here is I'm now adding information that is irrelevant to this particular question. Okay, I'm gonna add loads of it. And you can see that I'm adding information that is not highlighted to show you this is what I've added and this is all irrelevant information. You also get to see my horrible typing skills. One eternity later. All right, so what I've done here is I've tried to keep most of the in original premises uh, intact, but I've just added a bit more information around them. Now, can you see how much extra information that is there and it's just not relevant, okay? When you're answering questions, you need to be really, really good at First of all, paying attention to what's important. Now, I think most people understand that. They're like, yes, of course, Barry, that's obvious. You want to be going and looking for information that's important. But what people don't probably think enough about is how much information you need to learn to ignore. 
Okay, now all of the stuff that's not highlighted is not relevant to this question. I'm going to add some more now. All right, now this looks so much different to how it looked like at the very beginning. Okay, so once we're finished with this, we're going to go back to what the original, not really question, but really what the original statements looked like. Okay, now this is getting uh, closer and closer to what a typical logical reasoning question might look like. Uh, but to make this into, let's say, a multiple choice type question, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. So instead, let's do something like this. So from this information, it follows that. And now we're going to give a few different options. Maybe we'll go A. Okay, and then maybe B. And instead of saying lentils do not have roots that bear nodules, maybe we'll write it slightly differently. We'll say that lentils do not have nodules on their roots. Okay, C. Uh, what else could we add here? Okay, so this is drastically different to what we had before. And by working backwards, I hope you can see that this has real implications on how you solve these type of questions. You need to be able to know what you're looking for. And how you know what you should be looking for really depends on the, the wording. You need to follow specific words. Can you see that if we wanted to assess whether or not option B was correct, we would look for the words lentils, nodules, and roots. And then we would find specific sentences or even paragraphs where we'd find that information. Even when we find certain sentences, we need to be able to break those sentences down into their individual facts or premises. And not all of those things will be relevant to our particular question or even to our particular uh, task at hand. So let's say with statement B, we're trying to figure out if lentils um, have roots or nodules, essentially. Do they have them or not? Well, does it really matter that um, legumes are from the family leguminosae, for example, or the fact that they bear rows of seeds? Are we interested in that in, in terms of trying to solve or, or prove whether or not statement B is correct? No, we're only interested in whether or not lentils have nodules and roots. For anyone who's playing at home and they're interested to know what the answer is, I believe it is option C. Feel free to have a look at the other facts that are presented. But the point of this whole video was to show you the logical reasoning steps for actually figuring out that B is incorrect. I hope you can see that. Okay, that's all we've done today. We've just, we've gone through the logical steps working backwards to show you that B is incorrect. It is not consistent with the information above. I hope you found that video insightful. And if you'd like to see more of the same, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.